okay now uh, we will continue the same video earlier we stopped at converting the plan to axonometric 6030 and from there we dropped and we got the same plan in uh, two point perspective now we should give heights to the block one and block two one unit and four units so how to do that first what we'll do is we'll see vertical lines are there a vertical and b is there c we don't have so first what i will do is i'll draw a straight line up okay from c i'm checking whether my t square is straight no no it is straight c now from c i'm drawing a line from c so on this d c b a we need to take the height of one unit so one unit is what i'll take i'm considering one centimeter as one unit i'm drawing this easiest method i will tell you there are two methods first method is we can consider this as height line which is falling on the ground i can take one centimeter here for this example we will use both the methods in this one example if i take here one centimeter or one unit so from ground from ground a from ground a i have taken this as one unit so i got my height on a so i got my height here i have taken my height here as one centimeter or one unit once i get this from this side vanishing point one if i draw a line through that i'll touch b and uh, from vanishing point two if i draw this way okay i'll get d okay b and d i'll get i plotted my height line on a dash on a dash i got the height so either i can start this way or this way no problem this way or this way so here what i am doing is vanishing point one is there and this is the height through a i am drawing towards b so here through a i am drawing towards my b so it is touching the b line here so this is the height a b that plane from here also i will repeat the same thing from a the height is given we have plotted i'll draw or project till d so vanishing point 2 this is the height okay from vanishing point 2 through the height i'm drawing a line see It's touching d here so i got right hand plane a and b plane and a dash or d dash plane on the left hand so this plane i got okay this plane also i got i should get bc and dc simple i know the height of this d dash i we have the height so simply i'll transfer from vanishing point 1 d dash from vanishing point 1 i'll draw a line till it touches c dash so i got the height at c also if our drafting is correct when i want to merge this onto vp2 automatically this should fall within the line so we'll see if your drafting is correct it will happen if not it won't happen so what we're doing from vanishing point here and i'm trying to draw this here so it is here from here vanishing point 2 i'll draw a line mine it error okay nearly it is passing through b this is b this is a is c fine so we got the first block if you notice fine to get the second block i will use a different technique so i will darken this part so i want to use this is the height this is the height edge of c edge d fine over so edges are over i can darken this part this part the base both the sides i can do that that's vanishing point 2 done so the base is over the top i'll find less once the block is placed on that to get the height of the block the first thing what we should do is we'll check this part line is there g also line is there e is there if i don't have a line to plot my heights so i'll draw a straight line from f from the ground i'm drawing simply a line 
So I got all E, F, G, A, all the four lines I got. Now I have to give heights. In this, uh, one more method is there, as I said, very simple and easiest method. Instead of taking heights here on A, that is one method. I can take heights on A and simply I can transfer onto the F. That is one method. A second method is, what we can do is, I want to plot height of this block. So what we'll do is, I'll draw a straight line which passes from F through my G to vanishing point 2. Okay. So F1 and G when I'm passing to vanishing point 2, this line is touching my GL. My GL, on the GL, this line is touching here. Okay. This line touches GL here. So, a simple step I will tell, much easier actually. For a complex drawings, it is very helpful. Whenever or wherever this F and G line is touching the ground, it is touching the ground line, there I will take a line, a vertical line. This becomes my height line for this part. Okay. Earlier, this was the height line for A, A dash. This was the height line for A. I plotted and took on both the sides. I projected from vanishing points. This uh, step, I am giving a different technique. In the one, one uh, drawing only, I am showing both. In this technique, what I am doing is, I am not taking these sides on this height line and going all around. Instead, I am simply projecting F dash, G dash to my ground line. There, wherever it is touching, there I am drawing a straight line and this becomes my height line for G, F and E block. Okay, first thing here what happens is I need to take or find the base of the block 2 and the top of block 2. So I want to be plotting two things. The base of this block is sitting on the top of the first block. So the height of the first block is 1 unit. So on the height line, I can simply draw 1 unit. Okay, I am taking 1 unit the base of the block 2 and here it is 4 units, total 5. Okay. So on this height line, the top of block 2, the base of block 2 is plotted. So I got that. Fine. Now what? Next. Next is simple. If I project this, I will get the base of F and G and E from vanishing point 2. So this is the first height line I am projecting. Vanishing point 2, first height line that the base which is connecting see F, G and E the straight lines I took from the plan from the ground to get the top of this. Okay, What I have done? I took unit, first one unit and I have drawn a line. So these are cutting F here on the top G is actually cutting here okay somewhere here actually it is G and this is my F if I connect this directly to my vanishing point here I'll get the top plan some minor errors are there no problem here it's touching here I'm supposed to touch here no problem it will touch actually Okay, so I got my first base. So this is the base. I have one, the two, and uh, G. Here I have. From here I'll draw. So I got one, two, three. These sides. Uh, that I will get by taking this side, top height of block F and G. What I will do from vanishing point to drawing a line through. So here it's touching here. Here it is touching here. So this side plane I got. I'll transfer this to vanishing point one from here. So I'll get vanishing point one. See, I got vanishing point one. Now 
G here. So this also I'll actually project that into VP1 dot and this I have to project into VP2 to complete the drawing. So this I got as A dash line. Okay. This is my F from ground going. This is the F. This is the top or the base of that. Okay. So we have completed the complete view in our two point perspective for some clarity or clear understanding i will ink this now only the view i will ink fine we'll get some nice clarity vanishing point one i'll draw horizontal uh, this lines which are vanishing into vp1 first this also is vanishing into vp this point, this part I am drawing, G, G and B, this, G, this D, after that the base, E and F, top of E and F sitting on the block 1, then I am drawing D and C, top of D and C, the base or bottom of DNC, okay, anything left, one, two, three, over, now I will draw from vanishing point two, okay, from here I am drawing, vanishing point two, the top of the second block, point two, top of the second block, Head of CD, C and B, F and G. The base of the block which is sitting on block 1. I should merge, definitely yes. Again, this block C and B from vanishing point 2. So I'll merge the base C and B from vanishing point. this one now I have to draw all verticals No hidden lines I am drawing. So this is the two point perspective of the given plan and elevation. Okay. Thank you.